familiar with bits and bobs. We'll meet you at the Soul of Glasgow then. What? The Loudon? Oh aye, I know where that is. Eh, no. There may be some lost souls in there, but that's not where I'm in. The bowl collection? You may find nourishment for the soul, but it's hardly town. Is it far from town? I've only been once, as a passenger returning from Falkirk, with a hangover the size of Europe. My single recollection is of a big table, and had completely forgotten the visit until a friend mentioned it the other day. You better not forget where we go tomorrow so quickly. Now how could I ever forget time spent with you, C? Jesus, you're a creep. A fireproof creep? Hey, you just keep thinking that, young man. Moving swiftly along. Is it home? That place keeps close to the city's pulse. I don't tend to start drinking at 10am, so why would it be a pub? You're such hard work. Unless, of course, you've had a drink, after which you drop your ice queen facade. So I wish to introduce alcohol into the day as soon as possible. It's wearing to feel disapproved of constantly. We don't have to meet. No, I want to meet. I might get to see that smile you bring out on special occasions. You better do something worth smiling about for once. I don't want to argue, see. Is it the Mitchell Library? How on earth do you know about the Mitchell Library? I saw it stone from my hotel window while staying in the Charing Cross Premier Inn and looked it up. I didn't think you'd been inside. Books aren't really your thing. Is that where we're meeting? Is that the soul of Glasgow? No, it's not there. All those multi-syllable words would bring you out in a rash. Again with the disapproval, see. Don't know why you bother with me. You're handy in a music round of a pub quiz. I'm going to take that as a compliment from you. You'd be better off taking its condescension, dearest. Okay, whatever. What about the short ass fireman statue on Gordon Street? Is that the soul of Glasgow? Do you mean Citizen Firefighter by the renowned Scots artist Kenny Hunter? No, that's not the rendezvous, but at least you're moving in the right direction. What? The soul of Glasgow is on Hope Street? The level has released a song called Hope Street. I don't think it has anything to do with the one in Glasgow. In fact, I think it was a metaphor. <laughs> Look at Professor Tarkin, been watching BBC4 again, have we? When I said you were moving in the correct direction, I was being literal. Try a little lateral thinking. Oh, sorry, forgot you can't think laterally, can you? A reply dripping with sarcasm. How refreshing. Any chance of telling me the name of this mythical place so I can go and beat myself with steel rods, which causes me less damage than talking to you? Think art. Of course, Goma. Glasgow's answer to Nottingham Contemporary, only with a less imaginative and forward-thinking programme. You hate Nottingham? That's not true. I think it's ugly. Very ugly. Not as ugly as Falkirk and St Helens, but it hurts my eyes. The tinder sticks and baby bird are from Notts. Bet you didn't know that. Bet you've never heard of them, actually. Anyway, I'm right, aren't I? It's Goma. Uh, you're close enough. It's the statue of Wellington outside Goma. What? That bourgeois representative piece? Ah, uh, but with the traffic cone on its head, it then becomes the soul of Glasgow. Do elucidate, oh wise one. Uh, perhaps soul is, is not the best term to use. Attitudes is maybe better. The simple act of placing a cone at a rakish angle on the statue's head epitomises the Glasgow attitude. It pricks the pomposity of the establishment. It cocks a snook at the accepted. It displays Glaswegian confidence. It exhibits its humour. It's the place you should take every visitor to divine exactly what this city is all about. Well, it's where you'll be meeting me tomorrow. Did you even listen to what I said? I've just let you into my thoughts and you've come back with a glib answer. You're so annoying. I'm away now. Hey, I like ginger women and pano raisin. I don't do deep. Shallow as a dried up puddle, me. Anyway, I get to say my favourite thing to you now. What's that? See you tomorrow, see. Wait, tell me what your favourite thing to say is. Oh God, that was it. See you tomorrow, see. It's my favourite thing to say because it means I'm going to spend the day with you. Goodbye, Charlotte. <laughs>